We're about to get married. It's about five o'clock. I am ecstatic. All right, babe, here we go. It's uh, about six years in the making. Um, I just can't wait to be Mrs. Berardis and be your wife. A lot of emotions going through me right now. Can't wait to see you walk down that aisle. Can't wait to see how beautiful you look. I'm already hearing how beautiful you look. It's you and me forever. I love you. But most importantly, I can't wait to walk away from that ceremony with you as my wife. I love you more than anything in the world. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'll see you in a little bit. Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the sight of God and these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in the bonds of holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocence, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended of the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not to be entered into inadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now gives this woman to be married to this man? Ken, you may kiss your bride. There's no one else I'd rather have in my corner. I just want to let you know in front of everyone here that I'm proud of everything you have accomplished and how honored I am to be your brother. Stephanie would light up any time that Ken's name would cross her lips. Steph, from the moment Ken introduced me, I saw the glow in his eyes and I knew you were sticking around. And not only at the mention of Ken's name, but at the mention of Derek and Joey's Stephanie had fallen for Mr. B and his boys. I wish you nothing but happiness, love, and success for the rest of your years. So you join me in a toast. To the happily ever Berardises. To the bride and the groom.